<laughs> the more you know. <laughs> My best friend Ariana and we are outside of Takeshita Dori and we are going to eat attempt hopefully to eat. yeah attempt to eat a bunch of street food. Let's explore Takeshita Dori, Takeshita Street and see what kind of food that they have available for street food. I want to go to the food stalls that you see all over Instagram and see is it worth it or not. Okay so I don't have any game plan. We're just gonna walk and see something that we like and we're gonna get it. Okay? okay. The first place I wanted to go to is probably one of the most popular things that you can find on Instagram when it comes to Takeshita Street, and that is the rainbow sandwich. Essentially, it looks like a grilled cheese. What makes it so popular is that the cheese is supposed to be very stringy and have a very stretchy effect when you pull it apart and look like a giant rainbow. It costs 700 yen, about $7. It's so cute. So this place actually used to be a toot house. Now they like shut it down and reopened it into this rainbow. So you order and then you get a number and then they make it for you. It says be careful, the cheese is very hot. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm excited. gonna get that Instagram I'm shot. I'm so glad I get to like <laughs> help by just eating for you. I know, but that way we can cover more ground if we share everything. You're supposed to wait three minutes because it's super hot. And then after you wait three minutes, you pull it apart and it's gonna be stretchy. Let's go out to the street. I don't know how I should do this. Should I take it out? Like what? Yeah. Oh, the red failed me. But the blue's on strong. <laughs> cheers. Rainbow toast cheers. Tastes like cheese. Mm -hmm. Not bad. My grilled cheese is better. <laughs> <laughs> but they put a lot in it. Yeah, there's a ton of cheese. The blue really comes out. Mm -hmm. Stop number two on our journey is frozen popcorn. So there's a vendor that sells frozen popcorn and I've been seeing it online but I didn't quite understand what it meant. Like, was it literally frozen popcorn? Was there anything special about it? So we decided to try that as well. So we got the frozen popcorn. It honestly just looks the same as regular popcorn. And I think they only have caramel taste, caramel flavor. Yeah, they were like, it's caramel, but I was thinking, was there other options? Yeah, I didn't ask. She was just like, caramel flavor is okay? I'm like, sure. I feel like, is it just caramel popcorn they put in the freezer? Best 580 yen ever. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's cold. It just looks like normal caramel popcorn. But frozen? regular popcorn that has been put in the freezer. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. I mean, it might be nice in the summer. But mm. It's a novelty that you don't need to spend money on. Yeah. Pass this one. Skip mm. this one. I'm taking one for the team here. Mm. Pass that one, guys. Frozen popcorn is just a novelty. It's not worth it. No. Okay, on to the next place. I'm trying to find the famous cream brulee crepe. Now I looked at the last crepe store, I don't know if it's that one or this one. Oh my god, it's sold out. Dolcio. <laughs> Is it actually sold out? I'm gonna ask. Okay, that's a no on the crepes, but um, there's more rainbow stuff here. I feel like I've seen three shops that advertise rainbow stuff. <laughs> so, pick and choose. Oh, ooh, we should have chose this one. With the healthy yogurt juice? Yeah. Oh, I want that one. I want the dog. 
Next up is the Kelby store and honestly this was the place I was the most excited for because I love the original snack that you can get in convenience stores here in Japan so taking that and putting it into french fries like come on now how can you go wrong with that? They have so many kinds of like jagariko This is my favorite snack so we're actually gonna get like the real french fries I think because this is on everyone's list oh, Look! They have here Wow, maple syrup and cream cheese. Kaido butter, hot and spicy. Yeah. How did you feel limited? I think we're gonna get this one. Do you wanna share this one? Which one? This one. I'll show Potato that. cheese. Yeah. Do you want your own? No, I'll share. Are you sure? Mm. Uh, you can get like cups of the different Jagariko flavors. I like the salad one and the cheese one. This is the only place I've seen with an eat in area on the second floor. Do you want oh. to go to the eat in? It's yeah. Eat in space. On the second floor? Yeah. It's like instant, instant mashed potatoes. Yeah. You only get a bit <laughs> for 310 yen. Three dollars. Oh, hot! Oh, oh, but it's good. Mm. Hot. Mm. Are you okay? Mm. She's got a cat tongue, so yeah, I don't like hot temperature. Like for me, it's perfect. Mm. Especially in the winter, this is a great one in the winter. Yeah, you can skip the cold popcorn, but this, mm. I would definitely get this again. Mm. Mm. I was a little skeptical. Mm -hmm. Because when you get uh, these like Kalbi potato potato like sticks? crackers, yeah. the sticks, they're really, really hard. Mm -hmm. But these are really, really soft. You know those sticks you can make into mashed potatoes? What? Yeah. How? Oh. Hot water? Yeah, you take the lid off. That's why there's a line on the inside. You put hot water in serious? and close it and then it makes it mashed potato. Are you serious? It's like mm -hmm. dehydrated potato? Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna get this famous thing. Are you gonna get a chocolate sakusaku? You can get a chocolate one. I'll get the regular I think it's one. Too much. I think it's too much. Too Maybe much? Share a regular one. Okay. There is a lineup. We are lining up. Although this isn't as bad as what it could be. Usually it's like down the street. Yep. Another lineup that's not connected. <laughs> yeah. They like make them divide it a little. More. Yeah. The camera is low, so I don't get anyone else behind me. But the smell in here is amazing. <laughs> like. When you leave here from working here, do you smell like it? I wonder. I would eat you up. This is a regular one. It's 250 yen only. $2.50. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna... Did I crush it? Say. <laughs> smells just like the inside of that place. Wow, that's really sexual. <laughs> it's good. I didn't really get the custard, so let me try again. There we go. Mm -hmm. I think the custard's a little watery, but it tastes good. So I think it was sitting on the counter because it's not so busy right now. Yeah. So they weren't exactly like running through the orders very quickly. So yeah, definitely the custard is a little watery. Right. Throw out in the fridge for five minutes. Yeah. It should be good. Hey guys, another day, another time. I look different because I came back to Harajuku. I'm by myself. 
and I wanted to get a few more things just to round up this video. So I'm gonna get Rainbow Dog first. I checked the cream brulee crepe, but it's gone, so I wanna get a different kind of crepe. I'm gonna get the Rainbow Dog here. I've got one, it's about $8.50. Hapyaku Gojin, 850 yen, and I got a number. I got it! So it looks like, put like rainbow ketchup on it. it. Smells like ketchup. I've came to like an empty area so I could eat because it's crawling with people. Okay, anyway, let's eat it. Mmm! Mm. It was hot. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, Kind of reminds me of a corn dog, but a little bit different because it's crunchier and all this white stuff here is sugar. I actually prefer this to the grilled cheese. Mmm, I would get this again. It's quite messy though. There's a little wiener at the bottom to keep the stick in, but yeah, I don't. It's good, but I don't know if I'd pay 850 yen for it. Okay, so I've come to this place, Marion Crepe. I think that's how I'm saying it. There's like so many different crepe places that you can choose from here on Takashi so I chose this one. This one doesn't have cream brulee. The cream brulee one's always sold out, so. I decided to get the Sakura one. I don't know if it's like seasonal or limited, but I love Sakura flavored things, so why not get that one, you know? Yeah. So this place has a cheese menu. You can get honey cheese, cheese and sausage, triple cheese. And they also have Nutella for all of you chocolate lovers. I'm excited! It's like almost seven dollars, I guess, for that. I guess the Sakura one. I'm assuming the Sakura flavor is probably the pink ice cream ball. It looks like there might be some cheesecake on there or something. Oh, it smells like sakura. Can I just like, this is gonna be so messy. Look at the size of it. There's strawberry whipped cream, um, sakura ice cream, cheesecake. Looks like they put condensed milk on it too. Yeah, it's like super sweet. Oh, that's sweet, man. I'm gonna just try the ice cream first. It definitely has a cherry flavor because like cherry blossoms, right? It's not so much of like a floral taste as more of it's just a cherry. I want to try this too. Is it cheesecake? I'm like using the cracker as a spoon. Yeah, that's a cheesecake. Can I do it though? Can I? How do people eat these? Okay, I thought I had like the paper there for a second. I can't even get to anything. Oh my god. That's the size of it. It's like all whipped cream. I have to go again. Mm. Now I got a little bit of everything. Like the mix of everything together is good. Although I wouldn't want to eat this by myself. It's definitely cute for like an Instagram picture. Out of everything that I ate, the kalbi like potato sticks are my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this crepe and I'm gonna take the train home and I'll give you guys the rundown of all my thoughts at home. So see you there. Okay, so I am back home now, took the train home, and I had a really fun time eating everything in Harajuku because let's be honest, I love eating. Some things were definitely worth it and some things weren't. And you know, that's the thing, it's called it's called like Insta buy. You know, you buy things for Instagram and Instagram only. Like they only look pretty in the picture and it might not be worth it overall. I think out of everything that I ate in Harajuku, what I would have to recommend the most for me and my taste buds, I loved the Kalbi potato sticks, the Jagariko style potato sticks. They were so good, so fresh. Like I didn't even want to share those. That's how good it is. And that's how you know that it was good. I think the one that I liked the least, that was the most bland, is the rainbow grilled cheese. The cheese didn't really have much taste. It had like a slight cheese taste. Didn't really have a sharp, strong taste. Like I think the rainbow toast is probably very beautiful and very um, Instagram worthy, but 
it's the least delicious out of everything that I ate. Also, I wanna do an honorable mention that I've been to Harajuku before and I got the Totori Factory cotton candy, which is all over Instagram, the rainbow cotton candy from there. And I will say that that was good. Like I love cotton candy and it's huge. It's literally like this big. I couldn't eat it all by myself. It's something that you could share with someone. And yeah, I would recommend that cotton candy too, just because it's beautiful and it also tastes really good. So that's definitely worth it too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Jennifer Eats Tokyo. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to do a little bit more street food as well as restaurants. I hope you guys are interested in that too. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.